Hello, and thank you for purchasing Arc7. This video will introduce you to the features of the product and how to use it. Let's get started. Interface operation. First, let's take a look at the device's interface. This is the sidebar where you can find the settings button. In the settings menu, you can adjust any of the device's settings. This is the screen brightness adjustment button. Drag the slider to set the brightness to your preference. This is the volume adjustment button. Drag the slider to set the device's volume. The top button is the home button, which lets you quickly return to the home screen. Like other smart devices, you can access the drop-down menu by swiping down from the top of the screen. In the drop-down menu, you can adjust the volume and brightness, as well as switch between dark and light themes. There are also other shortcut function buttons. Audio output slash switching audio to your car. In this section, we will introduce the four ways to output audio from the device. Find the audio output settings in the drop-down menu or on the home screen's function card. Currently, we are using the built-in speakers of the X7. If you want the audio to come from your car sound system, here's how to do it. The first way is FM. Set an FM transmission frequency on the X7, such as the default 102.4 MHz. Make sure to find an FM frequency in your area that isn't in use to avoid interference from other stations. Find an empty frequency on your radio, then set the X7's transmission frequency to match it. Tune your radio to the frequency you set, 102.4 MHz. Turn on your car's audio system, and the sound will play through your car's speakers. Note that FM may have noise when no broadcast signal is received. If the noise is unacceptable, check if your car has an AUX input. The second way is AUX connection. This wired connection avoids signal interference and FM noise. Please note that the AUX cable is not included in the package. You will need to provide it separately. Low quality cables may cause ground loop interference resulting in static noise when no music is playing. If you encounter this issue, contact us to purchase an AUX cable with shielding against interference. The third way is Bluetooth. This mode allows you to connect your phone to the car via Bluetooth. Ensure that your car supports Bluetooth functionality. After connecting to CarPlay or Android Auto, Switch the audio output to this mode, then connect your phone to the car's Bluetooth. For iOS devices, in this section, we will explain how to use the X7 with iOS devices. Use CarPlay with X7. First, switch the X7 to CarPlay mode, then open the system settings on your iPhone. Enable Wi-Fi and disconnect from any connected Wi-Fi networks. Enable Bluetooth. Find the X7's Bluetooth name on the screen and pair the Bluetooth. Allow contacts and favorites sync. Then click Connect to CarPlay. Wait for CarPlay to connect, which may take about 5 seconds to 2 minutes. If the connection fails, Check if the CarPlay option is enabled in Bluetooth settings. If it takes more than two minutes to connect, open the Wi-Fi settings. Find the Wi-Fi network starting with CarLink and connect using the password 8888888. Once connected, go to the system settings and open CarPlay. In the other car section, find the device name IWEY. Tap to pair. And connect to CarPlay. The X7 will be added to the list of paired cars. Wait 5 seconds to 2 minutes for CarPlay to appear on the X7 screen.
If connection fails, contact us via email for assistance. To disconnect CarPlay, simply turn off your iPhone's Wi-Fi. Alternatively, you can use wired CarPlay for a more stable connection by switching the X7 to CarPlay mode and using your own USB cable to connect your phone to the car charger's USB port. Note, you must use Apple certified cables for wired CarPlay. Uncertified third-party cables may not work. Use Ari Play with X7. This allows you to mirror your phone's screen to the X7. First, switch the X7 to AirPlay mode. Connect your phone to the X7's Wi-Fi using the password 12345678. After the blue check mark appears, pull down the drop-down menu on your phone and select Screen Mirroring. Then choose the connected display. Note, there is an auxiliary button on the screen that you can use to access the main menu in any mode. Disable screen rotation lock on your phone and turn it horizontally to fill the X7 screen. This depends on whether your app supports landscape mode. To stop mirroring, disconnect from the X7. Use Wi-Fi video with X7. This feature connects the X7's dash cam to your phone allowing you to playback or download videos recorded by the dash cam. This is done using the Viger app. Download the Viger app from the App Store. Open the app and grant the necessary permissions. Follow the steps to add the X7 dash cam. Find and connect to the X7's Wi-Fi using the password 12345678. When the blue check mark appears, Switch to the Viger app. You can take photos, access dash cam settings, view recorded files, and download videos to your phone storage. Downloaded videos will be in the album. Allow Viger to access your photo library. Otherwise, it will not be able to access videos in the album. You can edit or share videos. After using the app, return to the Live View page to start a new recording. For Android devices, in this section, we will explain how to use the X7 with Android devices. Use Android Auto with X7. First, switch the X7 to Android Auto mode. Then open the system settings on your phone. Enable Wi-Fi and disconnect from any connected Wi-Fi networks. Enable Bluetooth. Find the X7's Bluetooth name on the screen and pair the Bluetooth. Wait for your phone to connect to the X7. This process may take about two seconds to two minutes. Please be patient. Open Bluetooth settings and ensure permissions for calls and audio are granted. To disconnect Android Auto, turn off your phone's Wi-Fi. Use Miracast with X7. This feature allows you to mirror your Android phone's screen to the X7. On your phone, find a screen mirroring feature on Samsung phones. This feature is called DX and can be found in the drop-down menu. Locate and select the X7 display to start mirroring. Note, your phone needs to have previously connected to Android Auto for it to recognize 
the X7 display automatically. Use Wi-Fi video with X7. Switch the X7 to Wi-Fi video mode. This feature connects the X7's dash cam to your phone, allowing you to playback or download videos recorded by the dash cam. This is done using the Viger app. Download the Viger app from the Google Play Store. Open the app and grant the necessary permissions. Follow the steps to add the X7 dash cam. Find and connect to the X7's Wi-Fi using the password 12345678. Note, your phone may display a message saying internet may not be available. Choose Always Connect to ensure the connection. After connecting to Wi-Fi, return to the Viger app. You can start or pause recording, take photos, adjust dash cam settings, and view or download videos. If a video is downloading, wait until the download is complete. Downloaded videos will be stored in the local album. You can edit or share the videos locally. BT Music Mode. BT Music Mode allows you to play audio from your phone directly through the X7's Bluetooth speakers. Switch the X7 to BT Music Mode. Simply connect your phone to the X7's Bluetooth to start playback. Media Player. The Media Player mode lets you play music and videos from an external USB storage device connected to the X7. Insert the USB storage device into the USB port on the car charger. The X7 will automatically scan and categorize the videos and music. Enjoy your entertainment time. <laughs> Dash cam split screen mode. When using CarPlay or Android Auto, you can use split screen mode to display the dash cam's real time view on one half of the screen. Go to the settings page, find the CarPlay slash auto screen mode option and set it to half screen mode. Reverse assistance settings. Please park your car aligned with the parking space. In the settings, adjust the reverse line calibration option to achieve the best assistance effect. <laughs> 